What is up guys? It's your boy Vermon and how are you? Hope you're doing okay. Um so the purpose of this video is just to talk about um my masters in software engineering and just give you a little bit of my experience and what I think about it. Um I'm going to the post office right now to get something. There's some awesome scenery at the river. And yeah. So anyway, um uh, probably I guess you who's looking at the video right now you're just contemplating on whether or not you should you know look for school abroad and just you know get further education outside oh just look at old tattoo anyway yeah you look you're contemplating on looking for your masters abroad and <clears throat> I'm in Tartu, Estonia. Um, I applied for my master's uh, degree that was in 2013, um, December towards January. And um, prior to that, I was working full time. Uh, but before that, also, um, I was doing. I, I, I was pursuing uh, computer science uh, at Africa Nazarene in Kenya. I'm from Kenya. <laughs> anyway, um, it's a really nice place, as you can see. And I don't know, I just think that the environment makes it a really nice place because it's not busy everything is just close close by you know if you want to come to the town center it's right here um where i was from is actually my dormitory and you know it's a small town it doesn't have a billion people <laughs> so there's no crazy traffic or things like that um and it's safe too um so I guess I'll run you through how maybe the first semester is like. Oh no 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 no. Yeah, the procedure. If if. Huh. What am I gonna say? First of all, guys. I really love this place. And I'll break down and tell you why I really love this place. So. The fact that this place is just small enough. Um, and the environment itself is just chill back, you know. Um, I guess I'll break it down in terms of environment, school life, uh, dormitory life, activity life, you know, and cost. Because I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons why you're, you're checking out this video. But anyway, um, in terms of school... I really like the school because the people who teach, um, they're professional guys who are in the industry and the knowledge that they apply outside is like something is what they've, it's, it's from experience mostly. So the way that the course has been structured, if you look at the course website is like it's been structured in a way that just concentrates on basically enterprise software and embedded systems. Yeah, so it's up to you to choose what you want to concentrate in if you're really interested in any one of the two. Um, secondly, um, the, the <laughs> and it's not easy. <laughs> it's crazy, man, it's crazy. So if you're coming, man, don't just come 
Don't come to play no games, man. It's it's hard work. Um, but at the same time, you definitely come out stronger. You know, you learn a lot. And the other thing I really like is the fact that there are you know events like hackathons, and you go to you get projects where you work together and do stuff that helps you learn at the end of the day and the fact that Tartu University has is like has more more foreign students it makes it kind of interesting because you get to learn to work with different kind of people you know and the professors uh, you know they're just chill guys if you, if you have a problem you can always go and talk to them and ask them and they'll just help you anytime you drop them an email oh yeah man that's just one other thing that i really like about estonia is like or tartu itself is like um they're just so responsive like when you communicate and when you talk to them and you tell them like hey or or i have a problem they'll respond to you like asap um, deadlines are crazy <laughs> trust me you're gonna feel like you have a boulder on your shoulder but afterwards you you're gonna learn how to you know to you're gonna learn a lot of stuff yeah so the course is just great and I'm just grateful for to God and to the people who you know gave me the opportunity to come to Tartu uh, because I've got to learn a lot um, secondly now the environment the environment is really good because I personally think uh, a school environment is just it's not just about like going to a school per se it's also about check those bikes cool right <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's not just about the school, it's also about having the environment to educate yourself, you know. So this place has Wi-Fi, has really good Wi-Fi, it's quiet, and if you're, you know, a smart guy like me, <laughs> you're going to, uh, you know, Make use of the resources that you have to teach yourself stuff because we are living in a really fast paced environment where you have to uh, teach yourself a lot of things, you have to learn, you have to be prepared to work, you know. And for me, it's been a learning process also because um, I'm working while in school, but yeah, I really love it. So also, I guess now I can go into activities. Well, <laughs> the other thing I really, really love about Tartu is that guys here, they work hard, play hard. Yeah, work hard, play hard. Now that makes it really cool because there are always some funky events happening, happening around every weekend. You know, there's a club, there just events around Tartu. I happen to have joined JJ Street. It's a dance company. And it's really, really nice because every Sunday and every Tuesday I'd go and dance, you know. And it's good because um, I get to learn. And by the way, Estonians are really good dancers. <laughs> um, I got to learn a lot and just feel accepted. It's it's a really, really, really awesome environment. And yeah, so I guess I'm gonna go then in terms of expenses, you know, cost of living would probably cost you like 200 euros a month. That's inclusive of like food and rent and you know, happy time. 
all that stuff because you know and having the supermarkets close by um, like we have corn tube next to my dormitory kind of makes it um, really convenient because I'll just walk out and buy something if I'm hungry or buy stuff and cook and I don't know it's up to you <laughs> yeah